it's Vicky here and welcome to my craft room tour. This is my lovely wooden door which leads in to my craft room. So let's go. So we'll start around behind the door where we have um, a Calyx unit, a 4 by 2 which holds all my albums um, and my layouts we put away and my printer is on top. And over here is little hooks with some aprons on which I've got at different retreats or as a teacher. So um, they're all useful and if I have friends to visit, we all have an apron. <laughs> so um, that's where I keep those. And shame on me, all of those layouts need to be put away and I haven't done it yet. So uh, that's the next job. This is my window area. And um, Rob, my husband, did the shutters which are fabulous. And he didn't make them, he bought them as a kit and installed them. And I put some cushions there to add some colour and he made the radiator cover as well because it's a really dull radiator and it just made it look a bit nicer there. So that's it. I've got a nice, um, it's actually a laminate floor which looks wooden. Um, I just find laminate is the most practical really if for spillages and things like that. So I stuck with that. Over here is my sewing machine area. So I keep my sewing machine up all the time and plugged in and I have my typewriter there too. Um, so that's just an Ikea desk there, desktop on two Alex units. So I'm um, just getting a bit closer here. You can see I just keep different things in my Alex unit. So I have all my perspectives in there from Bramble Fox. <laughs> I, have, um, I have several empty drawers still. I have some stuff from my little photo print in there. But I have some, um, lots of empty drawers because I will have room for expanding. And then I've got some um, threads and things in these drawers here. So there's not much in these drawers at the moment, but they will fill up as I go. And then on my pegboard, I've got um, just some threads and things down the side there, some paints along the bottom, and a little canvas that I made a few years ago. And my Vicky's room, which I've had since I was a little kid, but I didn't want to put it on my nice wooden door because I didn't want to ruin it. But anyway, this is a work in progress that this will change. The little scissors there are for cutting thread next to my sewing machine. Um, and I have a little bin there, which I got at Crop in the Country retreat. Um, it's really cute. So um, this shelf here, this is a big 12 by 12 Calyx unit. I'll just show you. There we go. So I'll just show you what's in each briefly. I've got a glass jar here full of ribbons and threads, which I don't use very often, but it's there. This is just a little nightlight from Sass and Bell, which I thought was really cute. I don't use it as a nightlight, just as a rainbow. <laughs> now, believe it or not, this is all of my 12 by 12 papers and coloured cardstock. I had a massive purge. Um, it's all gone to good homes and I just kept what I thought I might use. Um, he, even all this I'll never use, but you know, at least I made the effort. <laughs> Here we have wooden stamps and embossing folders and things like that. Just in a little basket, that's also from Ikea. And so just some little books there and albums. And then at the bottom, this is where mini books go to die. No, they don't go to die, they go to be completed later. <laughs> um, and I hope they will be. Um, just some more tools in some totes down there. This is tools, label maker, some glue sticks, some cables, things like that in there. These are my acrylic stamps, the whole batch there. These are the Ikea um, storage pots as well. Excuse my fingers there in front of the camera. And these are my stamping up as well. Um, so I have a few of those all stored in the same type of thing. These are um, die cut packs. So what I do is when I've opened one, I put the piece of paper showing what's in it and then with all the die cuts in it as well so that they're easy to reference when I want to find something that matches a project I'm doing. So um, that makes it quite easy. I got that idea from the lovely Janice at Scrap Go Go. Not Scrap Go Go anymore, Go Go Getaway. <laughs> I keep making that mistake. Um, and there's some unopened ones which um, I won't distribute into a pocket until they're opened. The next shelf has these lovely little tubs that I bought, little canvas ones. I'll just take one out so that you can see it. 
And this one has puppy stickers in, so it's the perfect size for all these to stand up in. And I can just flick through there to see what matches my project. And I've got it. And then also, this one has my washi tapes in. That one back there just has regular stickers and this has dimensional embellishments in it. Um, in there, so all four of those fit nicely into there. And they look quite pretty too. Uh, nothing yet in there. I've got space for new things when they come. The, this one here, that's a split shelf. And I've got in here, I've got multicoloured thickers, gold thickers, silver thickers. Let me get to silver. <laughs> and then we've got um, just regular stickers. And um, I think there are some letter stickers in there as well puppy stickers and chipboard stickers so they all fit perfectly in there and then this one below has um thickers in it so browns reds greens they're all color coded so i can find easily what i want and i find that that works quite well for me i can just take it out of my desk and find what i need Ooh. okay in here is last month's Hip Kit Club kit. I use one of these little things from Ikea to put them in while I'm working with them. I just got the new kit, which is um, which I've put into one as well, but I tend to keep the last two in there so that I can refer back to it if I need to. Um, this is my paper scraps. So again, this is like a little recycling bin from Ikea and uh, it just makes it easy for me to take it out and flick through and find what I need from there. I have a box of smaller scraps as well which I'm giving to my nieces because I've just got too much, I'll never use it. Um, there's nothing in that basket or crate at the bottom, we have an empty shelf there. This is the February hip kit, I just arrived yesterday, no, just arrived on Friday actually. <laughs> um, so I just put it out today ready to create later today love it this is just a little unit for bits and pieces so i've got some foam on there some vellum things like that nothing exciting that one's empty still at the moment this one there's just it says card making and it's just got some envelopes in for cards or for work or whatever and um, this one is just a pot of die cuts another one of these from ikea um, just full of die cuts and chipboard pieces for when I'm doing a project I can just have a quick look in there and see what I can find and use that. I've also got um, a little pot here which has um, gems in that I can reference when I'm doing designs. They, they're quite old but I've determined to use them. This is pocket life cards. Uh, those are all hip kit ones and those are just other ones that I've collected over the years. Oh, and those are just little two by twos, Paige Evans two by twos, um, that come with her kits. This also has die cuts in, um, some bigger ones, and that one has some bits and pieces in as well. Uh, this is um, specialty papers, stickers, chipboard stickers, things like that. Um, just a part of those. That there is all <laughs> marshmallow cardstock. Um, it's hard to get hold of sometimes, so I get it when I can and stock up. This is Vicky Booten paper for heavy mixed media and I've got some watercolour paper as well there. And this is just regular white cardstock. And then this is where all my stencils and some die cuts and whatnot are down there. These are my stamping up punches. Um, all in together. And then the basket below is just my other punches, regular punches. Lots of different things in there. And then we move over here and I've got another Ikea desktop, which my husband cut to fit into the corner. And that's where I keep my Cameo and my uh, little photo printer. So they're there just to, um, just set up ready to go and plug in. My Cameo has gone a funny color from being in the window before. So I'm gonna look at sticking something on there, I think, and make it look pretty. Uh, these drawers aren't very interesting, just a few. So canvas is in there, small tip kits in there, <laughs> that's embarrassing. Some um, cutting tools and scoreboards and whatnot in there. Some, just some bits, printer bits, and so 
silhouette bits. Nothing very exciting to hold anyone's attention in there. Up here on the wall is my Create. So the R, E, A, T and E I got from eBay. I coloured the two E's. And then the C is a commission from my friend at Garden of Edie. And it's just, you can see up close, just fake flowers, just all made into a C. And it's absolutely beautiful and goes so well with my rug, which if I show you now, you'll see. So uh, yeah, really happy with that. Just happy with the whole sign actually, it came out really well. That A was actually made by someone on eBay. They ask you which fabric and which letter and they make it. So um, yeah. Um, down here I've got my Alex unit here, which is the taller unit. I'll just go back so you can see. And I just keep a lot of mixed media stuff in here really. Some watercolors, some ink, some ink pads. That's just my trimmer because it's behind my desk. It's really easy for me to get. Um, some distress oxides, distress inks, uh, acrylic paint, and some colouring pencils, um, magicals um, in there, and shimmers and other sprays in there, and then just regular shimmers paints in there, and Nouveau drops and other shimmery paints in there. And then down the side here I have my little pot that has like a bag that has my paper scraps in so that's for recycling um it's quite full at the moment but recycling comes on thursday so yeah i should empty it this week and then this is my ikea trolley rascal trolley which has lots of things that i use all the time so scissors spatula um compass well it's like a ruler compass tweezers craft knife date stamp, paint brushes, um, this is my microphone for when I'm doing layout videos, my ATG gun, my ruler, um, baby wipes, stapler, brayer. So all those things that I use quite regularly. And then this is a lot of my mixed media stuff. So Mod, Mod Podge over there, I've got texture paste and gessos and glues, um, extra tape for my tape gun. Um, and then just at the bottom, I've just got some little bits and jars of buttons and little bits of pieces and some more baby wipes. Um, so that's that. Pop that one back in. Very importantly, I've got um, an internet um, range extender down there <laughs> so that I uh, can have my door shut and not lose my signal. This is my little seating area. Let me come around here. This is where Buster will often sit when he's in my craft room with me. Not there now. I think he's sulking somewhere because he's bored of me making a video. Um, this is um, an acrylic wall hanging that my friend Morag made. She's at Bramble Fox and she designed this specifically for me. And it's just perfect for my craft room. I love it so much. You can see, so it's sort of like a shiny surface. And it's just like those little mini perspectives, but it's a massive sized one. So I'm really happy with that. Um, and then back to my desk. So this is my chair with three wheels. Super cute, I love it. I got that at made.com. This is my big uh, craft area. So I've got the big pink mat, which you'll have seen in my videos probably. Um, and then I've got these cute little uh, cup. Well, this is a cup, fox cup, which I keep my pens in. And this is just a little planter from Sassen Bell. They're both Sassen Bell, which I keep my crayons in, Vicky Booting crayons. And my heat tool is quite often used, so I keep that handy. And this is just like a little crochet um, cup holder, which I got at a retreat recently. And on my iPad, of course, for watching Netflix or Amazon Prime or whatever I'm watching. And this is the other side of my desk, which I've got for, at the moment, my um, my computer's there. I've been working and I'm uploading something. But um, this is for videoing. So I've got my two daylight lamps there and my camera for filming. And you'll notice um, it's quite bright in here. That's because of these lights up here. They're daylight 
coloured, so they're nice and bright, and they give a good light, a light feel to this room, so that I can uh, craft in here any time of the day, and even when it's dark outside. And I've got another visitor chair here, which is super cute. It's kind of like a school chair, but it's got a nice little squishy cushion. So it's nice and comfortable for my friends. <laughs> um, I think that's it. Uh, I'll just do a quick scan around of the room so you can see. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, if you want to know where I got anything, or um, you couldn't quite hear something I said and you want to hear again, just let me know and I will answer all your questions in the comments. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, and check back on my channel for my layout process videos, which I'm hoping to start posting regularly again. I've had a bit of a break from it because I was poorly, but I'm back in action again, so you'll see those. But thanks for watching. Bye-bye.